Hey guys, it's Travis. Welcome back to Airgun Outdoors. In today's video, we'll be doing some slug testing with the Rapid Air Weapons HM-1000X in 30 caliber. The HM-1000X has a 24-inch Lothar Walther polygon barrel. This barrel is choked and designed mainly for the use of pellets. Over the past couple years, I've tested numerous slugs through the HM-1000X in an effort to find a slug that works well with this barrel, but I've had mixed results. We do a lot of long range shooting here and for that reason BC is very important. And as you know, BC of a pellet is very subpar when compared to the BC of a slug. When a pellet leaves a barrel, it slows at a much faster rate than a slug due to its skirted design. This design also makes a pellet much more susceptible to wind drift than the slug. And this is why we elect to shoot slugs as much as possible. In today's test, I will be shooting four NSA slugs and four Griffin slugs in various weights and design. I'll be shooting at a relatively short distance of 75 yards, but we'll probably stretch things out in a later video. So let's go to the range footage and see how these eight slugs performed. I was pleasantly surprised at how well some of these slugs performed today. Of the NSA slugs, we had two that shot pretty well, the 43.8 grain and the 47.2 grain. Now I've used both of these slugs in the field and have taken a couple hundred prairie dogs with them, so I know they can perform well. Now switching to the Griffin slugs, all four shot well, and of those, three did a great job in my opinion. The 48 grain cut base LDC and the 63 grain cut base shot very well with the exception of one flyer with the 48 grain. But the winner of the day is the Griffin 73 grain Botel Hollow Point LDC. This slug had a very impressive five shot 75 yard group of 0.35 inches, which is not too bad when the slug itself is 0.30. As far as speed, the lightest slug, the NSA 43.8, shot an average of 900 feet per second, and the heaviest, the Griffin 73, shot an average of 712 over the five shot group. The Griffin 73 is slower and does not fit in the raw magazines, but the accuracy and downrange energy is outstanding. Luckily, I have a 3D printer and I'll just have to print some single shot trays for this slug, unless another slug in my future testing can dethrone this king from the hill. Accuracy is everything, especially when you're shooting long range like we do here. Accuracy trumps speed every day because a fast miss means nothing. Recently, a troll complained that I was not only taking headshots when hunting prairie dogs. Actually, I choose not to take headshots unless the target is close and the conditions permit it, because I really never want to wound an animal. 
If I aim for the top of the chest, it gives me a leeway for the neck or head shot in case the wind gusts or my yardage is off. And as you've seen in many videos, a well-placed body shot will kill a prairie dog in a matter of seconds. And also, as my good buddy Kip Campbell says, I'm not out here to teach them algebra. I'm out here to kill them. This property is overrun with prairie dogs. We have shot close to 1,800 thus far, and there's at least 1,000 remaining. So at the end of the day, when I leave, if there are less prairie dogs, my day was successful. In today's testing, everything went well. I found slugs from both manufacturers that worked well, and I also found the best slug that I've ever tested in the HM1000X, and that is the Griffin 73 Botel Hollow Point LDC. I have plans to test more slugs in this gun and other videos in queue, including new ones for the JSR Raptors, which are currently being modified and tuned. So hit the subscribe and like buttons for future videos. Take care. God bless.